As the Glenwood Caverns Adventure Park enters its 13th year with its brand new cliffhanger roller coaster, Mountain Business Journal sat down with Steve Beckley, who back in 1999 opened the legendary Fairy Caves to the public for the first time since 1917. I wanted, to, I wanted the cave in 1982, so I wanted to, to develop the cave when I was in college. And, you know, I just had a dream to develop a cave. I love caving, I love showing people caves, and, and uh, so the dream was to do that. What has become a huge Glenwood Springs tourist attraction actually started as a guy simply wanting to get the caves reopened. In part one of this series, we learned about how it all started. You know, I contacted the landowner for 16 years to get him to sell me the cave. And, and uh, so, you know, I dreamt about, even though I went on and had a career, you know, I kept revisiting this every year to call him or write him and say, you know, come up here and try to get involved. And finally, he ag agreed to, uh, to sell us the property and, and let us develop the cave. And that's what we did. And then it just has kind of expanded from there. So. so this wasn't part of a grand vision to build an amusement park? When we first put the tram in, and, you know, the plan was the tram, the cave, restaurant, gift shop, a few things, nothing more than that. But then you know, when you start realizing that people need more to do while they wait for the cave tour. In 1895, Charles Darrow opened the ferry caves to the public. They were the first caves in the world to be lit by electricity. It was a thriving tourist destination. They got to the caves by horse, carriage, or good old hike. Now they've got the Iron Mountain tram to get them there. Steve and Jeannie Beckley persisted for 16 years before getting approval to develop the caves in 1998. In 99, the caves opened. My wife and I give them tours ourselves, work only summers, and we started having you know, 500 people show up and sort of buying more buses, and it just has expanded from there. In our first summer, we did 30,000 visitors for the first summer. Uh, last year, we did 150,000, so that's kind of the growth we've had over the last year. From the Alpine Coaster to the 4D Theater, Climbing Wall, a giant maze, bungee jumps, to the latest attractions, the giant canyon swing and the new cliffhanger roller coaster. An answer to, to long waits for the cave tour and for the restaurant. So we added the Alpine Coaster and then we saw how popular that was and then, you know, we just used 100% of our cash flow and, and uh, uh, invest everything back in the park and buy new rides and you know, expand the park and make sure we're you know, opening up more in the cave. So, you run cave tours and an amusement park for a living. What does your average day entail? It depends on the season. You know, now it's kind of the ball's rolling. We're in our season. I'm already on to you know, designing stuff for the next two, three, four, five years out. So now we're you know, we're, I'm already have drawings for, you know, new parking lots and new lift systems and, you know, new rides and new parking areas and new lodging facilities. So there's a lot of stuff that's on the plate that I have to stay three or four years ahead of our, of our staff as far as building and implementing. What? Right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. Perfect. So how long before you actually saw any money from all this work? I still haven't. I haven't <laughs> taken a salary yet. So, but you know, someday maybe my kids will probably reap the rewards. But you know, I just enjoy building and, and doing this, and I have more fun doing this than anything. So you know, I come to work every day, just the best job in the world, and really want to build something that's really memorable for Western Colorado. In part two, we'll talk about where Steve goes from here, and just how many people actually fill out those comment cards. At the Glenwood Caverns Adventure Park, I'm Don Chaney for the Mountain Business Journals.